guys welcome back to another video where today we are going to be doing um my top five favorite blasters in star of wars battlefront so um basically before we begin i just want to say that i have a new instagram account uh, it's pretty yeah, i posted a couple times um so just go ahead and follow it the link will be in the description um so let's just get in with the video so top five favorite blasters so basically um um top five five would be um the tl50 heavy repeater so this gun is um is quite good but it's quite unique um it's one of the only guns um well, one of two is the only guns with a secondary fire feature instead of a zooming feature. So as you see, when I pull the left trigger and I click um, the fire button, it fires a um, an ion pulse, which is meant more for um, vehicles than people, but it still works to kill other people. So the rate of fire is the highest in the game as for now, and um, it's. But the damage the damage is reasonably low but it makes up for it with that high rate of fire as you can see and it also has uh, a different crosshair from any other gun it has like a Y sort of crosshair and the bullets are quite light they travel very fast but this gun is mainly for short range please note that because on long range it will probably let you down as to the spread as you can see spreading all over the place just doesn't really work so uh that is the tl50 repeater so so next up would be um so on, on in my number four spot would be the a2 atc so this gun i'm sure you've seen it many times as this is very common among um, the choice of people as it is an all-around ref weapon meaning that it can go from short range to long range and medium range so it's it's quite good and um, it has a reasonable rate of fire pretty pretty good but quite a low um, damage not not as much as it's from the E11 but I believe that this is slightly better than the E11 just because of its range and um, and how fast it shoots. Like, I know the E11 would probably win a, a close range situation, but these are better for medium to long. And I, I believe that this is the gun that I have been killed most with, as lots of people have been using it. Even though it is the default gun, it is very common and a very good weapon that you, that you can unlock. As you can see, I pulled that player pretty quickly and it has it has no second fire feature and as you can see i'm shooting the rain and the spread is not very high it's it's, it's not it's a pretty good spread like there's not there's not much and um so it so this gun is definitely something that you can rely on so going on to the next gun the next gun for me would personally be the EE3. Now I'm, I'm probably, a ton of you right now are probably saying, what for the EE3 is the best gun in the game? Uh, um, that is just your opinion. I have, uh, this is my opinion. And this gun is very nice looking. It is the weapon of Boba Fett. And it shoots in a three round burst. As you can see, I shoot in every clip I do, it shoots three rounds. So it's obviously very powerful has quite a high rate of fire um, but my but uh, my vision for the rate of fire is that you click lightly on the button instead of heavily because it, it is a long direction and it can shoot very quickly and kill and very quickly if you if you use the burst right. So not many people like I know this is the weapon of choice for a lot of people but some people don't like it because of its burst. There are three weapons in the game of burst, burst, and I'll come to that later on. And this gun, if I'm not said, is a medium to long range gun, similar to the A2 APC, has 
pretty good rate of fire, good damage, especially because it's a, um, a three round burst and is generally just a weapon that you can also rely on and that is just worth getting. It's, it's definitely worth using, especially like it is some people may consider it as an all an all rounder, but I believe that the A to ATC is more of an all arounder. This is more medium to long range. So if you're a medium so you're a medium the long ranger then i advise you to use this weapon this weapon is fantastic okay so next on the list there are i have not unlocked all the blasters yet but the two which i have not unlocked um don't worry they're not on this list um so the next is probably for me personally in the number two spot is gonna have to be the se14c I love this gun. As I mentioned it in the last video, it is very reliable for me. I like the five round burst. It is similar to the EE3, but it's pretty much the EE3 little brother due to the way that it has, instead of long, medium to long range, it has close to medium range. So it's like the EE3 little brother. So the damage isn't very high, but it makes up for that yet again with a burst fire this weapon fires five shots per clip which in my opinion is fairly okay Boom. <laughs> and i i just rely heavily on this gun i use it a lot and i think that it is for um anyone can use it but you just need to get used to the burst on some weapons this weapon is great it has a high rate of fire medium damage and is something that you should use in in, per in particular situations in short range map, maps like Blast and um, Droid Run, but probably not that great for like Warfare Assault, Supremacy, and Trinity, as you can see. I, and, oh yes, I forgot to mention, this time is very OP. One of the reasons is because it can do, as I, as I just shown, one click burst kill. So that means if you're at close range, it is capable of doing a one click kill, which is very, very good. And I, I believe that, that that is just outstanding because you're at close range, you just click once, it shoots all its shots really quickly and boom, they're dead. That is something that you can rely on. And for the number one spot on my list, I'm having to go to the EE4. The this may be a surprise for some of you, it. as this gun is, um, it, it, it's not something that many, many people use. Like, I don't see many people using it. This gun is um, yet another burst fire weapon. Just to say, I do like the burst fire weapons a lot. So that's why I have all three of them on my list in a row and um so yeah this is this gun is very reliable it is a yet again a close to medium range but i believe it's just a little bit better than the sp 42 because of its range its range is fairly good as i said it's short to medium but there is a catch if someone like a long way away is for example very low you might be able to get them down to no help because um, this gun, as you can see, is a fire in the sky. It shoots in random burns, but this can be good because it means that if you don't hit your enemy once, it's That's not the, the end of the world. If you miss one shot, it's not going to be too bad. And um, it can do a one-shot burst headshot, which is pretty good. And in it has a high rate of fire like that. Um, reasonable damage similar to the SE-14 um, and it's just generally something that you can you can play and that you can do and you can use really easily. It can do a two round bar, um, two, two, uh, two shot body shot um, at close range. So that is, that is pretty good in my opinion. And that is why it is my favourite gun in the game. I'm not sure if many of you saw that coming. And by the way, this list is mostly opinion. Please note that. Oh yes, and it all 
so this gun, I like it because it also does quite a lot of damage to um, uh, heroes on the opponent, on the opposing team. And this gun, with the Focus Fire Star card, can dominate the map as Focus Fire. Um, when you shoot it, it groups the shots together so it can be used for close range then. So I think that's all, pretty much all I have to say. Do remember that most of this was opinion. I'm sure that not many of you, well, not many people love the burst fire weapons, but you know what? That's just opinion, yeah? Um, and I, I, I just personally like the EV4 because it is just, it is a short and stubby barrel. It's like the F, um, EV4's short range version. So guys, I hope you've watched, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Um, hopefully we'll be playing for Fortnite. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.